here it is. We hooked up our, our saw to the truck. And we're apart from our battery. Now, again, this saw was a waste of money. I shouldn't have never bought it. I never used it. So, I, know, I don't use it now. And I don't have any batteries for it. So, every once in a while you need to make a quick cut. And I'm just going to leave it in the truck. Hopefully get a use out of it. I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole in the bottom here. Next thing I'll do is feed my wire all the way through. Old speaker wire that I found. You can use any wire to make this happen. Now, here's the piece that I needed. This will actually let you clip into the bottom of your drill. And I couldn't have left all the batteries in here to support that, but I took them all out, and we're going to do that in a little bit of a different way. We'll tie a knot in our wire so we can't pull it out. That will come back through the hole. Now I'm going to feed this back up through our housing. You can also use the batteries to hold this in place. Alright, those are in place there. Now I'm just going to use a piece of foam. to pull that in position. Maybe two pieces. Alright, we'll get that put in there. And I also have to find the screws for the battery. Alright, next I'm going to put this all back together. Now, if that foam ever breaks, we can always easily go in there and re put it back together. I'll put this all back together. I have bought these clips from Amazon, uh, like 20 of them for $6. This will allow us to hook the drum to the, the battery in the car, or one of our batteries that we got from a cable box to power on drill. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and solder those on there. 